Hey guys, welcome back. If you're noticing that these videos, they're not going to be uploaded back to back, but just like probably a week in between if you notice the same hair and like lip colors because I've recorded like three or four videos in one day and I just like changed my shirt so you wouldn't know, but I just realized somebody's probably going to be like, you have the same hair and lipstick in this video, but that's why. Um, this video is kind of... <clears throat> Um, this video is kind of like a more serious video. It's not really about hair, makeup, or like having a baby really. But I thought I should probably make it because I know some people are probably confused. Like why haven't, why don't you upload as consistently as you said you were and stuff like that. Because I hadn't uploaded for about two weeks prior to this week. And I just wanted to kind of tell you why. Um, I don't even know where to start. This is weird. <clears throat> Last week I ended up going to my counselor on campus because I've realized I've been like really stressed out lately and overwhelmed about things. I'm not going to go into detail about what those things are exactly, but just having a baby. I'm in college. It's my senior year. I'm just stressed out about that. Just getting classes out of the way and married and just keeping up with all those things at once has been kind of hard to do. and. Just all that, like if you're a student or a mom or young, I'm only 21, you probably understand what I'm talking about, but lately I wasn't sure how to deal with all those things. So I went to the counselor to talk to them and when you go to the counselors, like I'm not sure about all counselors, but the counselor that we have at our campus, they make you do this questionnaire just to see like if you're okay and everything like that or if you have depression or abusing alcohol and things like that. So. I did the questionnaire and then when the counselor called me back, she said that it said that I had depression and the scale is from 0 to 26 and my level was like an 18. So she said that was pretty high and then she was just talking to me and she recommended me going to see a therapist, which I had been thinking about and I finally just called and made the appointment to just kind of get some help because it's not easy. And I was starting to have like really bad anxiety about like little things like leading up to my son's birthday party. I don't remember what it was. It was probably something like not even significant, but like just trying to get everything in order. I just started getting overwhelmed. Like my heart started beating fast and just getting nervous and then stressed out. And this also happened last week, I believe. I was going to class and then I ended up having to leave class. Because I just, like, I didn't even walk, get to the actual class. I parked my car and then I just had really bad anxiety and was freaking out. My heart was racing and I was just getting hot. And when that happens, it's like, you're so stressed out and you don't know what to do. And i just been, like, really depressed and kind of out of it. And I know some people are going to be like, why is she posting this? Especially people that know me. But I just know sometimes it helps to see someone that's kind of going through the same things as you and that's why I'm kind of probably fidgety but I just know when I was going through I felt like I was crazy and it was just really sad because I just felt like people were going to think I was crazy like no I'm fine blah blah I'm fine and a few people kept thinking like not many people know but now they do but someone I was talking to was like maybe you have postpartum depression maybe you have postpartum depression so I'm like okay I don't know maybe I do I don't but I was like I don't know maybe I do so if you are feeling like that it won't hurt to just talk to someone like a counselor or a therapist that can help you and stuff like that because I was at a point where I just didn't want to be bothered I've been antisocial probably for months now I just wanted to stay home and just be on the couch or just sleep and I haven't hadn't been doing stuff around the house like that's why I had been recording I actually did record I think last week or no the week before last I edited the video and everything that's my the last video one of the last videos I did my morning routine I uploaded it and I set it to private and then I was like trying to do the thumbnail and everything and I just got frustrated and then I just started thinking about all the stuff I need to do because I usually have like a long list of things I need to do and I was just like forget it edit. I'm not about to do anything and then I just left the video in the queue and it was just set to private like that video had been there for a week and then I just uploaded it a week later because now I'm finally feeling like okay everything's fine and I was just like nitpicking like I'm just nitpicking everything or I'm just really anxious about stuff like oh my god this isn't right this isn't right and it's like you guys aren't even going to notice the things I'm noticing I'm just like really particular been really particular about things and just 
nervous. Like right now I'm getting hot. It's just like, it's just really overwhelming. And I also wanted to talk about depression and anxiety because I kind of feel like there's a stigma towards it, especially in the black community, because when I hear people talking about like suicide and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, that's dumb. Why would you do that? Blah, blah, blah. But when you're actually in those situations where you are depressed and have anxiety, you kind of understand where people kind of get those feelings from. Like, maybe things would be better if I just wasn't around and stuff like that. So I feel like, I feel like once you're on the other side, you kind of understand it more where that comes from. And that's why I suggest you definitely need to get help and talk to someone. And some people are going to probably be like, just pray about it, just pray about it. That can help. I'm not saying it can't. I'm not saying don't do that. But sometimes you do need to talk to a doctor or talk to a therapist or a counselor or just a friend. Sometimes you might need to do that because it's also it's a mental illness. And it's not just something that can go away. And that's what I tried to do. And I kept thinking it was just going to go away. It'll go away. I'll just ignore it and it'll go away. But no, it built up. And that's what happened. It builds up. So. And a lot of people be like, oh, I, they were fine, blah, blah, blah. They were smiling, they were happy, but people can hide it. But after a while, it gets overwhelming. That's when people shut down and stop being around people. And I stopped, like I said, I stopped doing stuff around the house. I didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel like cleaning. Of course, I would cook for my son, and he was fine, everything like that. And I would shower, get myself dressed on stuff, but I was just out of it. Like, I didn't feel like doing anything. I would just... I would barely get my homework done, but I was just trying to get my homework done, keep him together, just keep food cooked so I would kind of eat. I was barely eating, like I would realize I only ate once, and that was just like a little snack or something like that, which isn't good because I'm already small, so it was causing me to lose more weight, which was another thing that prompted me to seek help and figure out what was wrong, because I didn't know. And... That's why I haven't been recording as much because all that stuff was going on. Like I'm trying to get better at it. I've been talking to a counselor. Well, there I've been talking to my therapist about ways to cope with the anxiety and the depression and just getting it out there helps because it's an unbiased person that doesn't know the people I may be talking about. So that helps too. And just working on ways to cope with the high lows and anxiety by. <clears throat> doing certain breathing techniques so when I get like really anxious and overwhelmed because like I said I'll make lists of things that I need to do throughout the day so I usually look at that list around the evening time and I'm like okay I need to do this this and that and if something doesn't go right like especially several things I want that's when I get overwhelmed and start like having really bad anxiety like I'm about to have a panic attack because I'm so stressed out because of all the other things on my mind so I'll just kind of sit here on the couch or wherever I am and just I'll try to breathe for a second, just take deep breaths, and then I'll pray for a little bit or listen to some type of religious music or something like that. And it kind of helps me calm down just so I can relax my mind and not freak out because then I'll freak out and then not want to be bothered with anything, which isn't okay because I do have a small child and he's not around when these happen. Usually he's like sleeping or not here, but I don't want to be like that around him. So I'll put on a happy face and smile and stuff like that, which is hard. That's what I'm saying. You need to seek help if you're going through that. And I think that's all I wanted to touch on when it comes to that. It's kind of a touchy subject. There is a stigma, I feel like, especially in the black community, that depression is something you just are, you're just in a mood and you need to just get over it and it'll go away. And they just say like, pray, pray, pray. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with praying but you might need to get help because this can develop into something very serious and that's what I'm trying to advocate like pray there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you do but you might need to get help too and I just wish the black community would understand that more that it's not something wrong with you it's a literal illness and you need to get help for it before it gets worse and that's when you see people who commit suicide and things like that so that's why I really wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it, especially African Americans. They just kind of keep it quiet and just like ignore it and brush it under the rug. Well, I know that's what happens in my family when stuff happens. So, if you have any questions or requests, as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.